Having a culture of inclusion within Rockwell Automation is going to ensure that we have a diverse pool of thinkers and diverse teams quite simply make better decisions. It has to start from top down. So I expect all of my leaders and I hold myself accountable for living within that culture of inclusion. I truly feel like I work in partnership with the men on the leadership team and our CEO, Blake. It's truly a shared accountability. And when we started to understand that white male privilege was real and that had to be addressed, only then were we truly able to drive substantive cultural change in our organization. The core elements of our culture of inclusion strategy are threefold, really. It's first of all about awareness and learning, second of all, understanding and removing barriers, and thirdly, creating differentiation, truly creating a workplace where the very best talent want to come to work and stay. Well, oftentimes always learn that you should treat everyone like the golden rule, which is treat people how you want to be treated. But really, we've learned it's the platinum rule, which we really have to treat people how they want to be treated. And that's different. It's not a one size fits all. And you really have to understand that different people of different ages, different genders, different people of color, all have different ways that they're wanting to engage at work and be included. And we know that a lot of the emerging talent that's there um, isn't what it looked like 15, 20 years ago. And so in order for Rockwell to be a place where they feel comfortable and feel at home and want to make it their own, we have to make sure that we're reflecting the same thing to them. You can only get so far if you're having these conversations and talking about these challenges only with uh, fellow females. But once you include those advocates and those white male allies into these conversations, I think that that's where you're going to see the most progress and the most positive impact then. Growing up, one of the closest people in my life to me is my mom. She worked in manufacturing. And when I heard her stories when she'd come home from work about the challenges she saw in manufacturing, I vowed to not be part of that problem, but part of the solution. But in a short five years, I've seen it get pushed not only through our organization from the top down, I've seen it become pervasive and part of our culture. It's a conversation everybody has early and often. Creating a culture of inclusion is important for us because we want to be able to draw from the broadest possible talent pool. And once we have a diverse set of employees, for everyone to not only feel like they can do their best work, but they want to do their best work because they're highly engaged and they're in a place where they're having fun as well as getting good work done.